Assalamu alaikum viewers, in this video we're going to discuss if celebrating Maulid or the birthday of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is an innovation or not. I don't make these kind of video on my channel but I think from now on I'll make these kind of videos to warn new Muslims about innovation in Islam. In the terminology of Sharia, bid'ah or innovation means something that has been introduced into the religion of Allah that has no general or specific basis to support it. Islam is the only accepted religion to Allah Almighty and Allah said in the Quran. This day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as religion. Allah completed Islam during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and after the death of our beloved Prophet there is nothing new that can be introduced in Islam. I mean nothing in term of worship. Our Prophet taught us every single worship that can take us closer to Allah, and everything that he has taught us is enough for us. We don't need to invent any new form of worship. And an innovator in Islam will receive severe punishment in after life. And there are many hadith about this. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said. If anyone introduces an innovation, he will be responsible for it. If anyone introduces an innovation or gives shelter to a man who introduces an innovation, he is cursed by Allah, by his angels, and by all the people. The worst of things are those that are newly invented, every newly invented thing is an innovation and every innovation is going astray, and every going astray is in the fire. There are many more hadiths like this and all these hadiths are talking about inventing and introducing new things in Islam. I'll make a separate video on this later. Now let's come to the celebration of Maulid or the birthday of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. First thing first yearly birthday celebration was never a thing in Islam. Yearly birthday celebration is something that he pagans did and later some other religions like Christianity adopted it. Like how they celebrate Christmas when they clearly know that Jesus peace be upon him wasn't born on that day. But things like this doesn't work in Islam. You can't just come up with something new 600 years later after the death of the Prophet and you can't just say we'll celebrate the birthday of the Prophet from now on. The Prophet peace be upon him never celebrated his birthday yearly, the companions never did it. The family members of the Prophet never did this. The later 200 to 300 years the people from the golden generations never did this. You cannot find this yearly birthday celebration in first 500 to 600 years of Islam. This was later invented by someone copying the Christians. So this is a clear innovation absolutely no doubt. And first thing our Prophet forbade us from following the pagans or following the culture of different religion. So celebrating birthday itself is not permissible in Islam let alone the birthday of the Prophet. We're all happy because our beloved Prophet was born on this day but we're happy every day not just one day every year. The people of Western culture do this kinds of things celebrating Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine Day, Anniversary, Birthday. Muslims are not allowed to do this kinds of things. They light up candles, cut cakes to celebrate birthday and celebrate the passing of one year from life. Muslims do not have these kinds of celebration. We have the two Eids, and these two celebrations were given to us by Allah to replace all the pagan and different religion celebration from Islam. And the day of Friday is like a weekly day of celebration for us. If the celebration of the birthday of the Prophet was so important then he would have told us about that. Now some people will come and say we don't celebrate Prophet's birthday by cutting cakes, we do a lot of good things on that day, we feed poor people, we discuss the life of the Prophet. We read Quran. So our celebration is different from others. My answer to this is you can do this any other day, targeting this specific day which our Prophet never mentioned would be an innovation. And it's not about how you celebrate. Some people might feed the poor on his birthday but that doesn't change the fact that celebrating birthday is prohibited. I think you guys understood my point. Now some people in the comment might come with some proofs from weak and fabricated hadiths. And they might try to misinterpret verses from the Quran and misinterpret the hadiths to justify this innovation. Don't worry I have a video in the making for that. In that video I'll refute all the fabricated and misinterpreted hadiths that some people use to justify this innovation. Thanks for watching. Like share and subscribe if you don't want to miss that video.